I'm Sophie and I'm seven. And when I was diagnosed with cancer, I was six. My youngest daughter Sophie was diagnosed with leukemia in September 2012. Um, we have three other children, Rachel, Zachary and Oscar. Big family, crazy, but great. And camp quality, they were there, I reckon, two or three days after we first got to the hospital. And they provide, you know, such a, a really awesome arena, you know, the kids are off running around with jumping all over puppets and laughing and giggling and for the first time in weeks, you know, sometimes. So we often meet the families for the first time in the hospital. Uh, we take the puppets into the hospitals and we meet the kids who are on their treatment. We have a bit of fun with them and we find out from there usually where their school is. And we get in contact then with the school and let the school know about our primary school education program. The kids remained to me before the puppets came. To the other kids, they could see something was different. They'd make games of pulling off her beanie and running away with it. They'd call her Baldy and names like that, which was not fun for a kid who's gone through what they've just gone through. The other thing that this program has as well is a really strong anti-bullying theme. And I think probably the most important message that we teach children uh, is the fact that you can't catch cancer from someone. A lot of children think that you can and we ask that before we do the show. Who thinks you can catch cancer and they all put their hands up? After the puppet show, um, they got together, um, Sophie and the puppeteers and the puppets, and they had this little photo shoot where I took the photos for them and they swapped the beanies between the puppets. Sophie swapped beanies with Kylie and and they did that, and after that they took a photo of them all without beanies on. I don't know what it was, but it made Sophie realise it was okay, and she went back to class without her beanie on. The education is not only for the students, it's also for the staff, it's also for the parents. And what that actually does is that helps to create a really understanding whole school community. The Cam Quality Program is priceless, really truly is. Thank you for helping kids like me by supporting Camp Quality.